Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. Today on the bench we're going to take a look at this Fluke 1654B multifunction tester. This multifunction tester is designed to perform basic installation testing. It includes basic voltage measurement, insulation measurement, resistance measurement and circuit impedance. This multifunction tester also will test an RCD's trip time as well as trip current. So let's take a look at this Fluke 1654 multifunction test on the bench. This is the Fluke 1654B multifunction tester. Its basic functions, voltage, insulation resistance, resistance, circuit impedance. This is the same, but it uses a higher current. The test is quicker, but you run the risk of tripping the RCD. This will calculate the time it takes to trip an RCD. And this will calculate the current required to trip an RCD. On this side of the meter, we have the test function backlight, power on and off. This allows you to select different ranges, memory, the ability to zero or get a relative reading, and these are the four function buttons. On the top of the instrument we have the input jacks. This is for your live voltage and ohms measurement, insulation resistance testing, and the remote probe if being used also plugs in here. This is protective earth or your common and this is your neutral. I have voltage selected. We are currently looking at the live and neutral terminals. 50 Hertz, 240 volts. By pressing the function one button, I can now look at live to protective earth. And if I press the function button one more time, I am looking at neutral to protective earth. In the voltage measurement mode, I can also do a battery test by pressing the F3 button. 7.2 volts DC. Our circuit impedance, if I press the test button, I can see I have a circuit impedance of 0.91 ohms and a prospective fault current of 266 amps. The high fault current means the circuit breaker will trip very quickly. I am also able to get an impedance measurement between live and neutral. In this case my resistance is 0.81 ohms with a prospective short circuit current of 296 amps. The circuit I am connected to is protected by an RCD. This function will allow me to test how much time it will take for that RCD to trip. The test current is 30 milliamps. This can be changed by pressing the function 1 button. It's 100 milliamps, 300 milliamps, 500 milliamps, 1000 milliamps, and there is also the option to enter the test current. By pressing the test button, I initiate the test. It took 33 milliseconds to trip the RCD using a test current of 30 milliamps. I'm going to set the test current to 10 milliamps and perform the same test again. And as expected, the RCD did not trip. This next test is used to determine the current required to trip the RCD. This is a 30 milliamp RCD we're testing. Required 21 milliamps in order to trip the RCD. This is a fairly typical value for a 30 milliamp RCD. For the following tests, I have connected a set of test leads. My red test lead is on the live jack and my black test lead is plugged into the common. This function is for doing insulation resistance testing. I have my test lead shorted together. I'm going to select 500 volts for this test. And as expected, it's showing a resistance reading of 0 ohms. That's what I would expect with a good set of test leads. On this appliance I'm testing, I am now going to perform the same 500 volt insulation resistance test. The resistance is greater than 500 mega ohms with a test voltage of 521 volts DC. I have now selected low resistance. With my test leads clipped together, I have approximately 0.8 ohms. The beeper is sounding because the total resistance is less than 2 ohms. I have connected a 2.2 ohm resistor. It's reading 2.3 ohms. The beeper is not sounding because the resistance is above 2 ohms. So in summary, this Fluke 1654 multifunction tester incorporates a number of different test functions in one single instrument, which typically you would require several different meters for. The one drawback with this multifunction tester is that all of the ranges are very limited. 
it is not intended to be a general purpose meter. In this review, I only covered the very basic capabilities of this instrument. I did not go into a lot of details on the various measurement options available. If you have any questions or you would like to see a more detailed review of this Fluke 1654B multifunction tester, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this review. If you did enjoy this review, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.